Hello. Hello and welcome everybody to the third Plan B live learning session. And thank you so much everyone for joining me this morning. My name is Mr. Ryan and today I'm your teacher. And I'm really excited about today's live learning session because we are going to be writing magic spells. So I hope all of our pupils who are tuning in this morning are feeling magical and ready to read and write some fantastic magic spell words. We're going to be starting today's main session in about five minutes time and that will give time for everyone to arrive and get ready and uh, in that time, I'm going to quickly talk to parents about what's happening during this session uh, and the structure of it. And then we will get started at about just after five past 11 this morning. So for children who are already here, I have a task for you straight away. And you'll need to uh, think about magical words and words you can use to describe something really magical. I'd like you to take a look at this picture. What can you see? It's a very dramatic picture, isn't it? While you're looking at this picture, I want you to think about as many different words as you can to describe what you can see in this picture, or perhaps what you think it would be like to be there. Some of you might be able to think about some specific types of words that you could use. Some nouns, verbs, adverbs, or adjectives. You could write some of these words down, but you don't have to. I just want you to think about them and talk about them if you're working with a partner today. I'll put this picture back up in just a moment for you to keep looking at. I'm just going to switch very quickly to showing parents today our timetable. Here it is. So we're gonna run a slightly quicker session today. Um, uh, I feel like it will be a slightly better pace if we go a little bit quicker today for our younger learners. This is a year one English lesson from our, our collection of resources at Plan B that we're doing today, uh, but it is certainly suitable for some slightly younger and some slightly older learners as well. These sessions are um, live on YouTube, of course, uh, and so we do ask because they're on YouTube that parents supervise this session, please. If you want to take part in the live chat on the right of the screen, then you will need to be signed in to a YouTube account. And moderating and managing the live chat this morning are two of my teacher colleagues. There's Emma and Abby there on the live chat again, and they're there to help uh, just moderate the chat and to answer any questions that I can't get to. Um, so thank you both to them. In the description below, there are some I'll just go back to the picture so that um, everyone can keep looking at that. In the description below the video, you'll find a form to register for today's session. And we'd really like it if during this session you could uh, just sign in using that form. And that tells us who we're uh, taking part in today's live session with, um, which is really helpful for linking up emails and names to the chat and stuff so that we can speak to you afterwards if we need to. The second link in the description is a link to a set of worksheets that go with this lesson. And um, you don't need those worksheets to take part. If you're unable to access them, pen and pencil and paper is fine. That's all you'll need today. However, if you can get hold of them, then um, they're quite helpful. And you can always just display them on your screen for children to look at rather than printing them out. Lastly, there's a link um, to our enrolment form for more online learning sessions. And um, we'd really love it if you would share this with any other parents who you think might find it helpful. Uh, we'll be doing more sessions 
every day next week up until the Easter break. And we have been sending out daily emails uh, about these sessions, but we're going to instead now, so you're not getting an email every day, we're going to send out a timetable of those sessions for next week. There is also an email address right at the bottom of the description, homelearning at planb.com. And I would love it if you would send in any pictures of your children working today during today's live session or any uh, photos of their lovely writing as well. That'd be really nice to see. And if you manage to send anything in before the end of the session, hopefully with your permission, we can share some of that writing here on the stream and we can have a look at what lovely work I hope everyone's going to do today. So it's just about time to get started. It's lovely to see so many of you here now. Hi, welcome. I'm just looking at some names here on the chat. Hi, Louisa and Lizzie. Hi, Max and Melly again. Ah, oh, hi. Hi, Jack and Sally B. Hello, welcome everybody. Right then, it's time to get started. I hope you thought of lots of fantastic words uh, to describe this magical picture that we're looking at now. Parents, that um, magical picture was actually part of a set of uh, brain teaser activities that you can download for free from our freebies section of planb.com. And there's loads of maths and English magical activities within that. Um, so you might like to take a look at that after today's session. But let's get started. Okay, pens and pencils down and we're going to begin. Today's live learning session is writing magic spells. And today, this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be using our phonic knowledge to write words. And parents, phonic knowledge is linking letters and sounds to help us read and write. After we go off to do some independent uh, writing. Parents, we can have a quick Q&A and you can ask me any questions you like about uh, phonics and I'll do my best to answer. So here we go. Oh, I'm going to read along and you can read along with me if you like. A word is missing from this spell. What do you think it is? What animal rhymes with Z? Z. I'm going to read this spell out loud for you. Abracadabra, alakazi, help me find my pet. What animal rhymes with Z? If you're working with a partner or an adult, you can tell them now what animal rhymes with Z. And you can tell me on the live chat as well. Okay. Lovely. Somebody has said B. Oh, zebra, that's an interesting idea. Of course, zebra begins with Z, doesn't it? It begins with the sound Z and the letter Z, which Z does as well, doesn't it? But it's that E sound at the end of Z that we want to rhyme with another animal word. Lots of people saying B. Oh, let's find out if that was the missing word. There it is, the picture shows you the missing word. Did you get it right? Well done if you did, and very well done for having a go. So it says here, doesn't it? Write the missing word on your mini whiteboard. Well, you don't need to do it on a mini whiteboard. I'd like you to have a go at writing the word B on a piece of paper if you have one now. Let's stretch the word out and see if that helps us work out how to spell B. I'm going to stretch it out like a piece of chewing gum right now and you can do it with me. Here we go. B. B. Okay, and let's have a look. Did you spell B correctly? Now let's read the spell together. Are you ready? 
Here we go. Abracadabra, Alakazi, help me find my pet bee. Well done, everybody. Let's look at another magic spell. Oh, and another word's missing. Can you believe it? I'll read this spell out loud as well. Abracadabra, Alakazi, help me cure my ouchy. Which body part rhymes with Z? Which body part rhymes with Z? Think? Tell your partner or tell me on the live chat. Ah, okay, some suggestions coming in, thank you. Max and Melly are saying knee, knee. Lots of people saying knee, I think you're right, aren't you? Let's have a look. Ah, the picture shows the missing word. If you haven't yet, I'd like you to write the missing word down now. And I wonder how you spell knee. I think it might be an unusual word. How do you write knee? Okay, have you written it? Let's see if you were right. Here we go. It was a strange spelling for knee, wasn't it? Let's say the sounds in knee together. As we do it, can you count the sounds? Here we go. Say it after me. Mm, e. Mm, e. So, how many sounds were there? There were two sounds. Mm, e. Mm, e. And the mm has a strange spelling in knee, doesn't it? So that would be a really good one if you can remember that today, if you've uh, spelled that out for the first time. K-N. We can use K-N in the word knee to make the sound mm. <coughs> Let's look at another magic spell. <coughs> and another word is missing. Well, I seem to have missed lots of magic words with my spells this morning. Let's read it. Abracadabra, alakazed, help me cure my ouchy. Hmm. Which body part rhymes with Z? Z. Hmm. Which body part? Tell your partner or tell me now. Which body part rhymes with Z? Oh, there we go. Lots of good ideas here coming in on the live chat. The picture shows the missing word. Did you get it right? The missing word is head. Well done, everybody. Head. I'm going to stretch out the word head like a piece of chewing gum to help us write the missing word. And I'd like you to do it with me. Here we go. Head. 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 And let's sound it out as well. Here we go. After me. Head. 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 How many sounds did you hear in the word head? How many sounds? Let's just quickly focus on the middle sound of the three sounds, well done, in head. I wonder what letters we could use to make that sound in the middle of head. What letters could we use? You can say them out loud now, or you can show your partner, or you can tell me which letters could we use to make the sound e eh in head. Lots of you saying e a. Let's see if you were right. Fantastic. Very well done, everybody. E a are the letters we use to make the sound e eh in head. Let's look at another magic spell. 
and another word's missing. Can you believe it? I'll read this aloud. Abracazabra, alakazed. I really want to eat some. Hmm. Abracadabra, alakazed. I really want to eat some. What food rhymes with Z? What food rhymes with Z? Tell your partner now or tell me in the chat. Oh, lots of good suggestions. Let's see a clue and see if you were right. Very well done. It's bread. Bread. Oh, I can hear a sound in the middle of bread that's the same as in the middle of head, our last word. Let's stretch that word out together. I'll stretch out the word bread and then you can stretch it out at home as well. Here we go. Bread. 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 Did you stretch it out? Well done. Now let's sound it out. Can you count the sounds in bread? Here we go. Bread. Bread. How many sounds are in bread? Bread. Bread. Lovely. Lots of you are saying, oh, nice. There we go. Uh, Teddy and Miles have broken up the word into three parts for the three sounds. There are three sounds, aren't there? Brr, eh, d, brr, eh, d. Now, that middle sound, eh. I wonder what letters we could use to spell eh in the middle of bread. I wonder if we could use some letters we've used already. Tell me now or tell your partner. What letters can we use to make the sound eh in bread? And what about that sound at the start? Br, br, br. That's a strange one, isn't it? Which letters could we use to make the sound br at the start of bread? Let's see if you were right, everybody. Fantastic. Well done. Oh, look, we've got a different magic spell here. I think we'll go back and have a look at that at the end of today's session. So that's just a quick sneaky peek at what we'll do at the end. Very well done. Excellent spelling, everybody. I'm going to show you a task that in a moment you can get on with on your own while we talk to parents during our Q&A. For the task I'm going to show you, you will just need a pencil and a piece of paper or a pen. If you've downloaded and printed the worksheets for today's lesson, you will need worksheet 3D for the task that we're going to do now. But you can see that if you haven't printed it, that's fine. You can use a piece of paper anyway. And your challenge today, during the rest of this session, is to write your own list of ingredients for a magic spell. I wonder what kind of horrible things you might want to put in your magic potion. I've got something to show you to give you some ideas, but you can write a list of your own ingredients as well. These are the picture cards included with today's worksheets. During the Q&A, I will leave them up on the screen uh, in case you can't print them yourself so that everyone can have a look at them. You might like to use some of these horrible ingredients in your list of magic potion ingredients for your magic spell. Look at all of these disgusting ingredients. Which would you like to use? 
I'm sure you will think of some of your own as well. I'd like you to use your phonics skills today to help you write the words in your magic potion list. And you can do what we've been doing. You can sound out the word, you can stretch it out like a piece of chewing gum to help you work out which letters you can use to spell these words in your magic potion ingredient list. So this one here, for example, slime. If you want to work out how to spell slime and you're not sure, you could try stretching it out like a piece of chewing gum. Slime. Slime. Or you could sound it out. S. Sl. Sl. I'm. Sl. I'm. Sl. I'm. That's a funny one, isn't it? We might come back to that at the end. So, today's task, and we'll come back in about 10 minutes' time to see how you've got on and look at one final task. Write a list of ingredients for a magic potion of your own. Good luck. Fantastic writing is what I'm hoping to see if some parents have time to email in your magic potion lists. And I will see you in about 10 minutes time, hopefully to share some of your gruesome ingredients. Okay, parents, thank you very much. Um, we'll do a quick uh, Q&A now. If you have any questions about today's session and resources, uh, anything to do with, with phonics and um, reading and writing at home, or anything about future sessions, home learning in general, um, I and Abby and Emma on the chat are here to help while your children are hopefully having a little go at writing their own list of uh, ingredients for a magic potion. So if you have a question for me, then please do share on the chat right now. And as I said, we have an email address, which is home learning at planb.com. Home learning at planb.com. And if you can send in any photos of your children working today, I'd love to see them. And if you can send in pictures of their work as well, that would be fantastic. We should have some time to share some of your children's gruesome lists of ingredients at the end of today's session. Okay, uh, how do we watch direct from YouTube? So presumably, um, thank you for your question, you followed the link via the email that we sent out perhaps, or, or possibly a link on Instagram or, YouTube or uh, Twitter. If you want to watch direct on YouTube, um, while this stream is live, we've done it as an unlisted stream. And that's just as a precaution to keep this stream uh, safe and in, as for the people it's intended for, which is our young learners today. Um, so we, didn't, we don't want the link to be public on YouTube while we're live. That said, as soon as we finish this live stream, um, the recording will go uh, on public on our YouTube channel, Plan B Teaching and then you can re-watch it at any time. So it will be available uh, in that way as soon as this stream ends, basically. If there's any more questions, then please do share with me on the chat. Um, ah, you're welcome, Shelley, thank you. Um, Phonics can be a bit of a tricky thing, especially for somebody like me who hasn't taught it for a little while, so uh, I'm a bit rusty too. But um, for parents, it might seem a little bit daunting, some of the things we were doing, I can imagine, unless you are a teacher yourself. Um, but if you'd like, just tell me in the chat now, just say yes, if, if you would like me just to uh, suggest a couple of ways in which you can use uh, phonics and let... Um, linking letters and sounds to help with reading and writing while you're doing learning at home. I'm happy to share some basic tips. Hopefully one or two of the things you saw me doing today, stretching out words like chewing gum or sounding out words and counting the sounds is helpful. Hmm. <laughs> 
there are some suggestions for disgusting ingredients coming in as well. That's lovely. Uh, do we have to watch direct? Um, I, I, I'm not totally sure what, what you mean, but um, uh, you will be able to watch this live via the link we sent out, um, future live learning sessions via the links that we're going to send out. Um, but you can go back, pop back to our YouTube channel at any time to re-watch these live sessions afterwards. Okay, um, I will just talk very quickly about some simple things that you can do to help children in the same way that uh, their teachers at school, much better than I am, I'm sure, are helping them with their phonics to learn to uh, read and write. Um, essentially, it's all about identifying the sounds that you can hear in a new word that you don't yet know how to spell or um, or read, and um, or rather, I should say, it's about identifying the sounds in a new word that you don't know yet know how to spell. And we in school we have some quite sort of strict rules about uh, the way that we break up those sounds in a word. We break them up um, in a very specific way, and that's just to help children as their their um, uh, spelling progresses so that they have logical rules that they can apply to other words, uh, more complex words as they move through school. But the simple way of doing it is just to stretch it out or break it up, just as I was doing, sounding it out or stretching it out. It doesn't matter if you get it a bit wrong when you're sounding out a word. Um, the most important thing is that children can hear the separate sounds and then use a plausible spelling a plausible combination of letters to make that word. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with using plausible spelling that isn't actually quite right when they're learning a new word. That's great and that should be encouraged if they're using something that could be used to make the same sound. And then once they've had a go, of course you can correct them and show them the correct spelling. Oh, I can see that we have some work coming in already. That's lovely. And some really disgusting ingredients Wow. Okay, we are going to have just one more minute, children. One more minute for writing your lists of ingredients and then I think we'll stop and we'll come back together. So one minute warning everybody, and then it'll be pens and pencils down. Let's just have a quick look now. I'm hopefully going to get some of your photos downloaded in time to have a look at together. So please bear with me just while I'm doing this. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to show uh, show everybody some of the lovely writing that's been happening today. I've got two or three pictures sent in already, and there's some fantastic writing. Really, really great ideas. Okay, well done everybody. I think that's probably enough time for our magic potion ingredient lists. So pens and pencils down and make sure that you can see me over here back on the screen. It's time to stop. Very well done everybody. I've already seen some of your work and it's fantastic. Let's look at some of the gruesome ingredients you've been sharing with me on the uh, live chat. Rotten beans, mouldy cheese, a snake, a, a wriggly worm, slime, a biscuit. <laughs> 
Well, I tell you what, the uh, the dog biscuit that we had here on the um, on the picture cards. I don't think that would be very nice, would it? That would be a disgusting ingredient in our magic potions. Lovely. Some really nice suggestions. Very, very well done, everybody. Let's. Ha wow, some very poetic descriptions here. Wet clouds, lovely. Let's have a look at some of the fantastic work that's being sent in. So the first one I want to show you is, I think this is, this might be from Max and Melly. And let's just open that up now. Okay. And here we go. I hope you can see. I hope you can see this on my screen. Look at this beautiful writing and disgusting list of magic potion ingredients. Smelly socks, blood, rotten old cheese, spider legs, owl wings, frog gut, ugh, slime, and bloody toes. Oh, disgusting. Well done. Let's look at another. And look at this lovely list. I think this is from Celine. Fantastic. Oh, I love your list of ingredients and lovely writing there on the line as well. Your, your magic potion has a worm, a shark, slime and a spider. Ooh, I don't want to try that. And let's have a look. I think here, oh look, this is really nice. This is a picture of Malia working hard on her magic potion list of ingredients. That's fantastic. Lovely to see that. Thank you, Malia. I'm just going to have a quick look now. I'm sorry if I can't show everybody's work today, uh, but I will do if we have time. We've got about three more minutes left or so of this uh, live stream, so let's have a look at one or two more. Okay. Now, look at this beautiful writing again. I'm not sure who this is by, but it's fantastic and we've got some really detailed descriptions of the ingredients there. Can you see? We've got two shark teeth, 300 frogs, 300 grams of clouds. Wow, that's really poetic. Oh, fantastic. <clears throat> Thank you. This is Clara. Clara, well done. That's brilliant. Lovely. Really, really nice. I like as well that you've numbered your list of ingredients. Fantastic. And let's see if we've got another one. <clears throat> we do. Oh, brilliant. Here we go. This is from, I'll zoom out. This is from Finley, I believe. Finley, look at this fantastic list. A shark tooth, snake fangs, eyeballs, stinky cheese, a pizza, some poo. Oh, horrible, and a spider. I like your list, well done. And, oh, there are so many fantastic lists coming in. Let's have a look. I'm just going to download this now. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, there are some disgusting ingredients on this list from Teddy and Miles. Lovely. Smoke as well. Oh, that's interesting. Nice idea. Yes. That's really lovely. Thank you, Teddy and Miles. Well done. And we'll just look at one more now. If we have time, I think we've, we've just about got time. Ah, okay. Lovely. The last one I'm going to show There we go, can you see that? This is Ayanna's list, fantastic. I'm gonna zoom in on your list so that I can read it, Ayanna. Let's have a little look. Spider's bone, yes. Oh, disgusting. Very well done. I've really loved seeing all of your beautiful work today. Very well done, everybody. It's time for us to finish up, isn't it? We're running slightly over today, so let's finish now. I'll just hide myself for a moment there. Can you all see this magic spell? I'm going to read it out loud, and you can read along with me if you like. Abracadabra, alakazi, quickly, quickly. Oh, I've made a mistake. <laughs> I'll try again. Here we go. Abracadabra, alakazai, quickly, quickly, make me a pie. Oh, there's something wrong with this, isn't there? There are two words spelled incorrectly. Make and pie. They don't look right to me. I wonder if you can tell me now on the chat, or maybe you can tell your partner who you're working with, how do we spell make and pie? How do we spell make and pie? You could try stretching out the word or sounding it out just like I did. Some brilliant suggestions coming in there. Lovely. Let's see if you were right. Here we go. Did you get those right? Make, make we spell make, M-A-K-E, and we spell pie, P-I-E. Very well done, everybody. Fantastic work today, and it's been brilliant, absolutely brilliant, to see all of your beautiful writing. We're going to wrap up now. So we're reaching the end of today's session. I'll just remind parents that on the worksheets, which you, uh, you can still download after this stream ends, there's actually an alternative activity as well, um, which is to do with um, uh, spelling more rhyming words. Uh, it's very similar to what we did during today's main input. And if you'd like to extend the learning with those, then please do. Uh, there are three different uh, worksheets with missing rhyming words and there's a different degree of challenge as you go through worksheets A to C. So have a look and see which ones, if any, you think you might like to try to extend the learning. Lastly, just a reminder that you can send in your questions or pictures of your work to homelearning at planb.com and please make sure you've enrolled via the link uh, at the bottom of the description below so that we can tell you about more upcoming sessions. I really, really hope that you found this enjoyable and helpful. I have loved learning with year one and year two and children, no doubt, in other ages as well today and seeing your lovely writing. And I really look forward to seeing some of you again on the next live session. Thank you to Abby and Emma on the chat and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.